Explaining Dota 2 Heroes' backstory, Rubik, the Grand Magus Edition. Aganim was a mighty wizard whose abilities approached that of a demigod. He owned the true legendary Aganim's scepter. Although he was exceedingly powerful during his lifetime, he declined later in life and died. The circumstances of his death are unclear, with conflicting stories passing around as rumors. After his disappearance, his namesake scepter was passed on to his son, Rubik. His secrets are closely held by Rubik and coveted by people like Mareska, who desire its awesome power. Rubik lives in the shadow of his father, constantly striving to match his fame and power, but has not yet succeeded. While many mages can cast spells, only the most skilled and talented are recognized as magi. Despite this, competition and courtesy among sorcerers are not always guaranteed. Rubik was already a renowned duelist and scholar of sorcery, but he never considered himself Magus material until he found himself in the midst of his seventh assassination attempt. Disappointed by the lack of creativity in the attempts on his life, he decided to announce his intention to kill a Magus to ascend the ranks. However, threatening one Magus meant threatening them all, and they attacked Rubik with unstoppable torrents of energy and calculated killing blows. But as the battle raged on, Rubik discovered that he could subtly read and replicate his opponent's powers, turning them against each other and sowing chaos among the group. Eventually, the sorcerers turned on each other without suspecting Rubik's involvement. When the battle ended, Rubik emerged victorious and presented his petition of assumption to the Hidden Council. Despite objections from some, the insubstantial Eleven agreed to grant Rubik the title of Grand Magus. Though many were injured and some dead, Rubik was delighted with the week's festivities and his newfound status. At some point in time, Rubik captured a mysterious puzzle named the Puzzle of Perplex in a special staff. He has spent his idle moments attempting to unlock this mysterious puzzle, but he could not solve it by himself. From time to time, he casts this puzzle on an enemy in hopes of gaining insight from their futile attempts to solve it as they hang enthralled by its mesmerizing mechanisms. When Rubik discovered the crux of this puzzle, he found a surprisingly simple trick that would allow him to manipulate four-dimensional space to affect reality around him. But even after he did that, he realized that the knowledge at the heart of this puzzle would also allow him to alter the very foundations of magic itself. No longer reliant on the spellcasting of others, he now toys with the boundaries of arcane artistry, reshaping and revealing the unexplored world of magic to his liking. Rubik continued to lose his attention span or anything that didn't challenge him. So he finally found something that seemingly be the ultimate challenge, something that would surely be interested, the War of the Ancients.